everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about topics of AP Computer Science exam. So today we're going to talk about abstraction and we're going to split this uh, concept into multiple videos. Before we start talking about abstraction, it is important that we understand what computer science is. Computer science is fundamentally problem solving. To solve the problem, we're going to code, but... Do you know what coding means? Coding is the process of creating instructions for computers using programming languages. It's how humans communicate with machines. Computers are electronic devices made with tens of thousands of transistors. Each transistor can be turned on or off. Try to think about it as a delight. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but in short, we use binary code to instruct when the transistor is turned on or turned off. Binary code means using numbers 0 and 1, where 0 switches off and 1 switches on. The way humans found out how to communicate with computers was by creating programming languages that bring machine language closer to human language. We can classify programming languages by level, in which low-level languages are closer to binary code, ones and zeros, like assembly, and high-level languages are closer to human languages, like Python, JavaScript. Like we saw previously, we can order the languages according to their level, in which low-level is closer to binary and high-level languages are closer to natural languages, like English. Thinking about that, we can do the following representation. For example, in this representation here, we can see the abstraction level, in which low-level computer language we have machine code, then COBOL, then C, then Java, Python, and C++, and the high-level computer language of abstraction, we can say that is graphical language. We're going to know the concept of binary code in the next video. Right now, we're going to focus on abstraction. Machine code is a base language where no abstractions are implemented. Rarely, programmers will code directly to it. What programmers usually deal with is programming languages. High-level languages provide more abstraction and easier coding and debugging. For example, if we want to display the letter A using Python, we can simply write A. Otherwise, if we want to do the same using binary code, we would use multiple ones and zeros to describe the same letter. In summary, what is abstraction? In computer science, an abstraction is a way to represent essential features without including background details and explanation. The process of developing an abstraction involves removing detail and generalizing functionality. For example, if we want to double a number, we can use double a where we are going to double the value of a. The input is a and the output is 2 times a. If we do double 5, the result will be 10. Until now, we're talking about abstraction in software, but it's important to understand that we can still have hardware abstraction level. The low level is a transistor, like we already discussed before. Then we have the logic gate, which is basically a physical electronic device implementing a Boolean function. Right after, there are chips, memory, motherboard, video special purpose cards, and finally, the high level software abstraction, there is the computer itself. Now that we have all these concepts in mind, let's do some exercises to practice. So the first question we have here is why do programmers often write code in high-level languages instead of low-level languages? So let's see the options. A. Because high-level languages tend to be closer to machine code. People prefer to write using ones and zeros. So we know that this is not true because we normally use high-level languages because it's far from zeros and ones. Then we have B. Because high-level languages tend to be written by smart people. Okay, let's skip this one. We know that it's not true. The next one is because high-level languages are closer to natural languages, making it easier your code seems pretty correct and this will be the correct answer all right because basically like we already saw high level languages are programming languages with a strong abstraction so it kind of abstract all the details of the computer and let us uh, code without thinking about the ones and zeros and what is behind of it, okay? And also because it's pretty similar to natural language, like we can see in Python that it's almost English itself, okay? Now let's do the next one. 
Thinking about the computer itself, it is considered low level or high level. So the letter A is low level abstraction while transistors are high level. Actually, this is the opposite, right? We know that transistors are the low level and the computer itself is high level. A computer is high level abstraction because it's capable of performing high level programming languages. This is true. So we know that, uh, like we saw before, high level of abstraction is a computer and we can perform programming languages in here and he can transform this into uh, signs that the transistor can understand. So we'll switch on or switch off the transistor. So this is the correct one. You can take a look at the other answers. So we have, it is a middle abstraction level while card, video cards and mother uh, boards are high level. This is the opposite. Okay. It is a middle abstraction level while transistors are high level we know that transistors are low level and computers are high level and low levels of abstraction because it contains the lowest level from a software so now let's do the last one so using the notation of representing abstraction like above what output is not possible to happen so here we have the abstraction random 1 to 10 right and if you take a look more about examples of random we normally include the number one up to ten so what will be the output what what are the possible outputs here so we can have any number from one to ten included okay so here we have to figure it out which answer has a number that is not in the range of one and ten included okay and we can see here that is the letter d because zero it's one number before number one so it's out of our range and this is the correct answer okay so this is it for the today abstraction uh it's really important that you understand but the core of the abstraction uh session it's going to be the next videos where we're going to see the binary system hexadecimal octal and other things okay so i hope to see you in the next video if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and again, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.